This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I delete one part from an insert multi-mesh brush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a polymesh 3D star here loaded in. And the question is asking about deleting a part from an insert multi-mesh brush. So to do this, first I'm going to come over to the brush palette over here. I'm just going to open this up. And in here, I'm just going to select an insert multi-mesh brush. So something like this IMM B Parts brush right here. Now when you select a IMM, or insert multi-mesh brush, you will notice that after you select that brush, that you're going to get an IMM viewer bar that's going to be displayed at the top here. Now this bar here will show you all the parts that exist inside of this brush. So if I come through here and say select a part, then come across a tool that is a polymesh 3D and has no subdivisions, if I click and drag, I'm going to be able to drag that part out onto my model. So as you're using an insert multi-mesh brush, you may want to remove a part. So let's say this nose here, I don't really want it contained in this brush. Now maybe I just want to delete it. So how can you go by deleting a part that is existing inside an IMM brush? So to do this, first come to your IMM viewer bar here, or press M on your keyboard, and then select the part that you want to remove, so like this nose here. And then after you have this selected, you just need to navigate over to the brush palette over here, open this up, and then go to the create area. And then down here at the bottom, you have an option called delete mesh. So when you click this delete mesh button here, it's going to delete the selected IMM part from the brush. So since I have the nose selected, when I click delete mesh, you'll notice that that nose has now been removed from the brush. So if you want to delete another one, let's say I want to delete, say, the dog head, I can come over here and select the dog head from the IMM viewer bar, or I can press M on my keyboard again and then select that dog head. Now I can go back to that brush palette, go to the create area, and then click on delete mesh, and you'll see that dog head will now be removed. Now after you delete a part from an insert multi-mesh brush, you want to save this brush so it remembers those changes. So to do this, you go back to the brush palette over here, and you can use this save as option here. Now if you're modifying a brush that ships with ZBrush, you want to make sure you overwrite the original file. So for the IMM B parts brush here, if I want to make the changes of removing these parts and then resave this brush, just go to the brush palette, go to save as, and now I need to navigate to my ZData brush presets folder. So I can go to the ZBrush 2018 folder here, then I can go to ZData, then I can go to brush presets, and then in this folder here, you should find the IMM B parts brush file right here, and you just need to override this file, and then the next time you launch ZBrush, and then select the IMM B Parts brush, the parts that you deleted will no longer be there. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!